Pee-wee Reese will take his first cuts of the ball game here. Here's the first offering. Swinging a ball hit hard on the ground at first. And here's Freeman at first himself to record the out. Pee-wee Reese will stand in. He grounded out his first time. He makes good contact on it as this is going to make its way through into left field for a base hit. Josh Hamilton will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. And there he goes towards second. Oh, and they've got him picked off. And he is in there. Well, plenty of mistakes to go around here on this play. First off, the runner breaks much too early over there at first. So he should be dead to rights out there. But then the defense lets him off the hook, and he winds up taking second anyway. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. And they had to have that. This is the inning where a leadoff guy is critical. Now they've got a few options here with a speedy guy on first to start things out. And so now the Braves will get both a left-hander and a right-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Ready with the 2-1. Runner goes for second. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. Only play will be to first, so with the runner in motion, they stay out of the double play. The tag, and he is out at third base. It's a double play. Reed will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Out of here. So they narrow the gap, and hey, don't count these guys out just yet. So it's a solo shot to dead center. Now for a 10 for him on the year. And with that, it's now a 6-3 to three ball game. So a good job of collectively swinging the bats in this one, but if we had to single out one guy who outshined all others, I think it's the man who stands out right here. He's our top player of the game. Stand in for the first time now, coming off a three-hit contest in the loss last night. Swing and a shot toward right center. And he's going to make the play over toward his right, and there are two away now. And that's one of those plays where you might need to reinforce the laces on your glove after this inning ends. This is a fastball, and it is hammered. I mean smoke. But he ends up with nothing, and his average is going to go down. Victim his first time. Now here's the first pitch. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. Pena. Throw on to first. Won't be in time, so they just get the one there. Josh Hamilton will dig in. He singled his first time around. No runs, three hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Ready now on one and one. And there he goes towards second. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. Not in time as he steals second. And with two outs, this was an excellent spot to try to take second base. The worst case scenario is if you get thrown out, you allow a good hitter to come back and lead off the next inning. Now
now you give that same good hitter an opportunity to drive you in with just a base hit. Pee-wee Reese will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, and it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. And that ball is gone. Blasted into the bleachers in line. So a three-run blast is straight away left. Number 11 for him on the season. And the D-backs have come back to tie things at three. Wow, he has proven to be a real nuisance in the first two games of this series. A home run in last night's ball game. Now another one here. Pee Reese will get another crack. One for three thus far. Reese. Now here's the first pitch. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. And it's gone! So a solo shot here to left center field is second of the game, and it's now 6-3. to three. offense in this one, but if we had to highlight one guy that made the difference, there he is. He's our tops player of the game. And I think all things considered, this was really a team victory. But out of everybody, I agree, he made the biggest impact out there. Afternoon baseball at Chase Field on a fine Sunday in the desert southwest. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the East-leading Atlanta Braves and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Pee-wee Reese will get his first cuts now, and he'll do so with the bases empty and two away here in the first. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Here it comes. Out in front as this is in the air toward deep right field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Pee-wee Reese will stand in with two on and two out here in the third. Second baseman, Pee-wee Reese. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. He's ready now. The pitch. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. Here's the one one. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball to third. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. A golden opportunity to get on the board here goes for naught. More to come on the show Sunday Baseball after this. Pee-wee Reese will come in now to begin their half of the sixth, and it's been a struggle for them so far. Just three hits through the first five innings. And that's certainly not going to be enough to get the job done. And as the scoreboard bears out, if they want to get back in this game, I think this is the end that it needs to start happening. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. Now Miller on one and one. And this will be fouled away. Here comes a one-two. He swings at the fastball here and lifts it into the air to shallow center. Young comes on now and he has it one down. Pee-wee Reese will stand in for the fourth time now, still looking for his first hit of the ballgame. And he 
he's not the only one either. This has been a great pitching performance so far. They've had these guys chasing their tails all game long. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. A run on a couple of hits here for Arizona. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Braves nine and the D-backs one. Ruby De La Rosa will come on now in a mop-up role as she'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Pee Wee Reese will get a shot here in a bases loaded situation and you'd have to say they've got the right man for the job up here. Yeah, team leader in RBIs. He's got on, hold that thought as this ball gets down for a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on the runner at third, so the bases will remain loaded here with still only one away. Well, this game isn't over yet, but they're at least able to tack a second run onto the scoreboard here. Never say never in this game, but this hole might be a little too deep to dig out of. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Sam Anderskow will stand in now and hey give these guys credit they're not going down without a fight I'll tell you what they're not too far away from making a game out of this one after all an entertaining game all in